You said that love ain't gonna cost a thing But I said my heart broke on you You said that I don't have to spend a dime Now I'm paying the price for two Sunshine FM, Tracy and the Big D And you know, pocket money, you save a couple of dollars But you got to save your cents And that's the name of this song It's called Save My Sense But to find out what it's actually about And the big whirlpool that's going on at the moment for Melanie Dyer She joins us right now Melanie, thank you so much for joining us I know you're in a little bit of a break at the moment Because you're on your album launch tonight And this is for the album Fresh How are things going? Really well, it's exciting, everything's all, you know, happening tonight, it's the big album launch, you know, my debut album, so it's good, you know, to finally have it out there for everybody and it's a very exciting time. So can you remember a time and an age that you were when you decided, you know what, I would love to sing a song or I'd like to be in the music industry or something like that, I just want to imagine that day when I release an album, do you remember that time of your life when that happened? I do, I was about probably 11 I think, I I picked up a guitar when I was 12, but when I was 11, I started, you know, listening to country music and what mum was kind of playing around, you know, around the house. And I started going to the Tamworth Country Music Festival, you know, just as a fan when I was about 11. And the next year, I really wanted to sing and be a part of it. So I picked up the guitar and wrote my first song. And, I, you know, the years kind of just, you know, carried on and, and, and I kind of, you know, kept going to Tamworth. I've been there for about 11 years now or more. But I do remember when I was, you know, 11 or 12, saying to myself, you know, thinking that all the 23-year-olds, oh, they're so much older, they've achieved, you know, so much in life. When I'm that age, I want to be able to have my first album. And the time has come, and I'm 23, and I'm doing it, and it feels really good. Wow, congratulations. So you set yourself a goal, and you've achieved it. Yeah, I did. You know, I've done, a, you know, the EP along the way as well a couple of years ago and dipped my toes in the water there and I've been really working hard on creating my own sound and brand of country music and it's fused into this urban pop country that can, I guess, translate with a variety of fans and, you know, that enjoy different kinds of music and that's showcased on the album. But it's very exciting to finally, you know, have my own, you know, creations out to the world. This young lady has got an amazing voice. She looks great on stage and has a great sound. And we had the opportunity of catching up with Melanie down in Tamworth this year at what was the name of that venue that they were playing at night doing all the American? What was that venue? Mel down was in that the Moonshiners? Moonshiners, yes. yes. It so, was awesome. So yeah, much fun. Yeah. Oh, I great. bet you booked yourself in for that again for January. I won't oh, miss Great it. night, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a terrific night. And I do it every time I talk to people like Melanie, is that it's about time that some of our commercial stations picked up the music like Melanie Dyer and let people have a listen to it because this is a really edgy pop country and I really like it. And I think the most important thing with any artist is to be completely genuine to who you are. Yeah, I think that, you know, translates and people can sense somebody who's telling, you know, a real story or is them their real selves, you know, and that's what I've tried to be always. And I did start as a, you know, country kid growing up on a farm. My family all still live there and I go back and visit all the time and I made that change and moved to Sydney when I was 19 and naturally my music took a different kind of path and I wanted to write about my experiences, you know, living in the city as, you know, a young 20-year-old at the time and my music kind of... Um, I guess evolved and that's you know the album is 100% me and where I'm at in my life and with my music at present. The single off the new album is Save My Sense. Give us a little bit of a sense of what that's actually about. <laughs> a sense of what it's yeah, about. Yeah and I like it's, that. Um, <laughs> a sense of the sea. It, it was a fun um, song to write. I actually wrote that one entirely on my own which is cool to have on the album. There's a couple on there that are all me and and a few co-writes. Save My Sense, I guess, you know, it's about experiencing something and and looking back, you know, in hindsight and saying, oh, I wish I knew better. I should have known better. I should have saved my sense and and really put all that, you know, wasted time to good use. But (laughs) I think we've all experienced that. So that's a very vague description. But, um, you know, it can actually resonate with people in different ways because to me, it's kind of like learning from experiences as a young you know, girl moving from the country to the city. But it can be about anything in work, life, your dreams, your family choices, anything. And and I think that we've all had those moments where we've been, you know, kicking ourselves saying, gosh, you should have known better. (laughs) Yeah, but, you know, that's what life's all about. Yeah, and then you write a song about it. (laughs) It's great to see that uh, Michael Carpenter was able to get the best out of you too. 
He totally did, and he's such a pro and such a fun guy to work with. A very talented multi instrumentalist and songwriter and producer. And I can't you know, talk fondly enough of Michael. And we produced the tracks together in the studio, and and he really did bring out the best in the songs. And they've kept their raw, kind of authentic self. And and he was the best person to to treat the production on the album. It's, it's so refreshing to hear that an artist is so happy with the producer. So congratulations on everything. Thank you so much again for joining us tonight. Everything's all exciting. You've got your album launch there tonight. So for anyone who wants to find out about the tour, just hop onto Melanie's Facebook pages, onto her websites and everything, because there's some exciting little tours happening at the moment as well. And I'm sure if we had a lot more time, we could talk a bit more about it. But Melanie, get back to that launch. Enjoy your night. Suck it all up and enjoy every last minute of it, because this is something you've been waiting for since you were like 11 years old. Go get them. I know. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. And yeah, if, if listeners want to jump on my social pages, I'm about to head off on tour with Caitlin Shadbolt for the Fresh Off Our Sleeve tour. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And yeah, can't wait to see some of you guys out on the road. Excellent. Well, here she is right now, Melanie Dyer and her brand new song, Save My Sense. You say-